Okay, part two of the video is showing the vertical portion that forms the vertical of the belt grinder. It's pretty simple. It's a piece of one and a half inch square tubing, three sixteenths wall, and from one end to the other, it's thirteen and three quarter inches long. It does have a five sixteenths bolt that's welded, or uh, the nuts welded. There's a hole drilled about an inch from the end. And it serves the same purpose as the main bolt to capture this part. However, this is meant to keep this plate in place, just like this. This piece is just a flat piece of two inch uh, flat stock. It's one quarter inch thick, five and three quarter inches long. And the distance from here to here where it's welded is one and one eighth inch from here to here and then the rest of the dimension you can see there. This vertical is actually made of one piece of angle iron. It's two and a half inches wide, 13, uh, 3 sixteenths inch thick, and it's 12 and 3 quarter inches long from tip to tip. And you can see it's been worked a little bit. After you cut the ends off, you're going to just end up with a square piece these corners are rounded off. You can see it's relieved a little bit in the back here. This is two and a half inches to here to here where this is cut out. This whole distance here is six inches and the remainder is four and a quarter. So that equals twelve and three quarter inches. This particular cutout portion starts back a little ways. The cut is actually four and three quarter inches from here to here. I believe, if I measured correctly. Yep, it's four and three quarter inches from here to here. So that would leave an inch and a quarter reveal on this. And then I just scallop that out just to provide a little bit of a space if I wanted to round off inside the belt so it wouldn't, um, wouldn't interfere. The distance between these two idlers between the bolts is 10 and 3 eighths inches. So between here, which is basically centered on that one piece, and over here is 10 and 3 eighths inches. You can fudge a little bit on that. I don't think that's exactly critical, but that's what that is. And one thing I did do later on is I did add a piece of angle in the middle. As you can see, this piece was kind of hanging out on its own all the way down to here without any support. And every now and again, depending on how, what I'm grinding, I pick up a little bit of a harmonic and it vibrated just a tiny bit. So all I did was take a seven inch, seven inch piece of one and a half inch angle and just drilled a couple holes in it and bolted it to help support that. You can see it from the back side here, how it, how it actually goes in practice. It doesn't interfere with the belt at all because the belt doesn't come back that far. That's about it. If you notice also, the wheels spin free with the platen flat. That's because you need just a tiny bit of tension to come here when the belt comes around. You need just a little bit of tension right here on that platen. And then same thing on the pickup on the back side where it comes down. So this, these are offset about one eighth of an inch. This is about an eighth of an inch. So you, can't, you can see it doesn't roll at all on here. It tips a little bit this way, a little bit that way but that all in all it's about an eighth of an inch. The rest that I made, this because of the 3 16th, that's a real oddball size in here. I went ahead and I needed to make something that was relatively tight so I could put it in here and this would hold pretty much an angle at a 90 to the front plat platen here. So what I did was I took a piece of one inch square tubing, it's a pretty thin wall, I don't know what wall that is, maybe an eighth inch I think, maybe a little bit less. And then what I did is I tack welded some eight inch flat plate under the top just to make up the difference. So it's a, it's a nice snug fit, it's not super tight so you have to fight it to get it out, but it's, it's a nice snug fit. And I went ahead and I, you can see here there's a groove that's ground into that little plate. 
That's the reason because when they made the tubing, they've got a seam on the inside. Instead of grinding all that crap out of there, I went ahead and just ground a little groove in there with a little angle grinder. So it slides in there. This piece here, it's real simple. It's just a piece of two inch angle, quarter inch thick. And it's four inches wide. And it slides up against the platen. And you can, you can go ahead and tighten it down. It's just a rest. It makes it really handy if you've got a part that needs a little bit of a support when you're making rounded corners. Tighten this down, and you can actually change the belt with this in place because the belt, the belt comes down around here, and you can slip it past this gap, and you can adjust the gap as well. But I got it as close to 90 as possible because that's really what I'm after. And you can see that it's had a lot of use. It's already got real nice polish on it. Okay, and that's it for the vertical.